This doesn't sound good. The only thing worse than getting your ass kicked is getting your ass kicked underwater. I'll tell you that right now. Sounds like we got another one. Oh, we got two more. Yeah, go ahead and just kill this one. What the hell? They sound like Yoshi getting his ass kicked while his mouth is full. Which kind of makes sense, because you would think that Yoshi wouldn't be able to breathe too well with his mouth full. Okay, so we got more conduits. Probably more toilet paper, too. Thank goodness the things are fairly easy to see. That's two, and that's three up there. If I can... Okay, it's, it's like this. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. It's like that and like this and like that, Anna. So we just need to work our way around to that. Oh, wait, I can't get over this. Okay, never mind. I guess I have to find another way over there. Wait, what the hell? Okay, the thing is up there. I don't think I can reach it from here. It would be funny if I had hit it just now. That's the crazy thing about this thing. You can see through the walls with this, but you can't... I could probably shoot it from here. Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, shoot that thing. Well, okay, now I've got a general sense of where it is. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to hit that from here. Let's try this platform over here right next to it. That's not a bad idea. Oh, now it's right in my face. Okay, which door are we opening now? I have no idea. Does it matter? I'm stuck underwater. I don't care about being accurate. Thank goodness I can see, though. Because it's a miracle. Why do I always think the door is up here? It's over here. Alright. It's just that series of platforms always stands out when you first look at it, so... I hope they didn't put different vines in here. Okay. Just making sure. It seems like they would have upgraded these by now. But I guess it's, that means, you know, <laughs> I guess this place proves the point that you shouldn't fear the Reaper. Alright, now we're nowhere. <coughs> hey, no power for this door. No power needed. Well, looks like we have a, a morph ball thing. And this is one of those kind of screwy areas. There's not really any... I don't think there are any upgrades here. Well, I, th I believe there is an energy tank underwater, but I don't remember if that's in here or... No, that's got to be in the next area, because that was too small. Yeah, let's see. Is this our upgraded gel zaps? No. I don't see those yet. Open wide. Santa's got a present for you. And I'll give you a hint. It's not a tree! Why would you get a tree for Christmas? That's not... Where the hell am I? Did we actually make it out of there? But I didn't see the energy tank, man. Tell me I didn't... Whoa, what the hell? I've seen this area before. I'm, oh, I just forgot which way you actually... Yeah, I missed an upgrade in there. Because this is the end of the area right here. And holy shit. I'm going to run back for it real quick. I might edit out my trip back there. Cause it's... I mean, it's not that long of a trip. It's just... I know there's an energy tank underwater here. I just, maybe that wasn't in this area. But... It, it is in this area. It's right here. Oh yeah, bomb jumping is a little different underwater. No, it's too early, too late. There we go. It's up there. We're gonna have to do it like four times in a row. No. Oh, I didn't... <laughs> okay, I guess I only had to do it three times. I didn't think it was in there. I thought it was like a more wide-open room that you were in when you did that. Okay, well... Chalk it up to bad memory. What can I say? Now that we're finally through with this area, and we're really through with it, there's only those three upgrades. Two energy tanks and one missile expansion. So apparently you come through here and you go left, and we're gonna ignore the gel at this time, because we already beat his ass.
last down last time. We can just pretend like he's dead again this time. And uh, over here, something. Oh, there's one of those flowers in here, isn't there? Is this the room I'm thinking that it is? Because it sure doesn't. Oh, I think it might it might be below that room. It is quite a beautiful room, I must say. Yeah, buddy, we know how to live, don't we? Yeah, because see, this is the room where you unlock that cage up there, or you open it up, so that you can actually get down here from there again. Yeah, see there? No problem. So we pretty much did nothing there except for connect two areas together. And I was trying to find this room before. Yeah, get that flower. Oh, he's dead? He's dead? Oh. Oh, man. I can't tell, like... Oof. Okay, whatever. He's dead now. Yeah, because I stole your... Oh, no way! Is that thing still alive? Okay, what is... Oh, okay, Amer apparently he's gonna come back to life. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. There's something pretty cool in this room, actually. Um, okay, I just did something really stupid. Apparently, I ugh, tried to use the... Okay, what I was trying to show you earlier was actually... Um, if you look over here, you look really close, you can see the raindrops stopping in the middle of the air. It's because there's an invisible platform there, and I think they meant for you to be able to see this. Although, really, I don't know how much you can really gain by it, but... From here, you can actually come over here to this door... And grab yourself a... Uh, yeah, if you can get in there. Grab yourself an early missile expansion. So, why not, right? This room looks too cool to just have a missile expansion, but... Incidentally, that's all there is in here, so... Let's get back out of here. So anyway, well, we have these spider-ball tracks over here, but there's really not much use for them right now. Because they take you up to a... This, I don't think there is. I'm trying to remember if maybe you are supposed to go somewhere with these, but... Because you need a certain item to actually... ...get through where they take you, I mean... Yeah, forget it. Can we fall to that? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> It's a candy cane. It's a spider candy cane. Nice. See, because over here there's an ice door, right? And we have our ice beam equipped. But back here, you can't really get anywhere because this is obviously something I haven't scanned. It's Bendesium. I'm sure you've figured out by now what, what exactly the deal is with that. The dealio. And up here, there's a sap sack, which I think I had already scanned. <laughs> and it explodes very violently. Not unlike me when I think about... Never mind. Yeah, when I think about... Never mind. So see, there's really no point to this room, because these, these spiral tracks go nowhere. And so I'm going to head back down to where we came from. So we open these pipes, but I think there's more we need to do here. Ugh, well, geez, I didn't mean to fall that far down. Good lord. Where the hell are we? Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, I guess Ice Beam works well on them after all. Anyways, what was I saying? We got a little area here. Well, we're just coming back out of the water. It's pretty much where we just were. Yeah, so, uh... <clears throat> yeah, you can keep on climbing here to get back to that room. But what I didn't do, what I forgot to do, was look in this door. There was a door sitting right here, and I just ignored it. Oh, intense radiation detected. Was he, is it? Oh my god. Don't even dare knock me onto that stuff. What's going on in here? What is that? That looks like Phazon. I don't think I like it very much. I don't think I want to fall down there. Yeesh. Well, that room is the perfect introduction to where we're going, which incidentally is right here, and I keep on saying incidentally, Phazon Mines East. Yeah, that's right, guys. This is basically... Um... I'm trying to think of an area from other Metroid games that you would compare it to. It's not Ridley's Hideout. And it's not Norfair. 
It's definitely not Meridia. Jeez, I don't know what it is. It's not Turian either, because Turian, like in the original Metroid, was too small. And this place is anything but small. As you come through here, holy crap, Ohlone, look at that. There's just more Phazon all over the place. It seems you can morph ball if you're, you know, into that stuff, which I'm not. Not in this game, anyway. Yeah. Phase on Mines, definitely one of the more interesting areas of the game, though. It's basically pretty much kind of like a final area, but it's not exactly. Well, maybe it is. And over here we have, uh, the two, some mega turrets. Yeah, that's right, mega turrets. A little more powerful than your standard model turret, <laughs> as Lansoon would say. I think it's hilarious that he uses the word model. Speaks like such a professional when he's talking about it. It's just so cool. Uh, yeah, but uh, they're tough. They, they don't take no crap. I mean, eventually they do take enough crap if you, uh, you know, if you dole out enough crap. We also have what I do believe only starts to appear here. Well, let's see. I got these right and these. I didn't get that. It's a controlled force field and probably something to deactivate it, right? But there are actually, um... Holy crap, did I actually shoot through those? Oh my god. Well, I'm not seeing any of them, but there's new, uh, missile pickups that you can get here. Where you can actually restock your missiles by 10. Okay, I know, Surge is located within the mining compound. Hey, that's not too far from here. At least it doesn't look like it anyway. Now, somewhere in this room, there's a spider ball track, which leads up to a save point, if that's what you want to do. Oh, wait a second. Oh, dear. Um, I'm going to go to that save point, and I'm going to stop the recording, because something just happened, and I gotta go. So, let me just go in here, and oops, yeah, that's right. You unlock the save point by scanning the thing, which is like, duh. Like, duh! And we're going to save the game, and next time on Metroid Prime, we'll look a little more at the phase on mines. Till then, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.